Hey guys, welcome to Higan Iruthil, and this is Clearing Difficulty 24. I'm sorry I had to pre record this. This was a bit difficult to do because of a lot of reruns. So, this is actually the start of the pre recording. Uh, I'm just going to go through this one. So, um, before we proceed, I'd like to explain this part. So, I'm actually not going to be using any assassin and um, any uh, not assassin, not a ranger. So those classes are going to be locked. So I'm opting to use a guardian for the stage. A guardian is actually very important because you need to survive a lot of um, incoming damage. So let's uh, try to do this now. Okay, so I'm just going to be providing you guys a play-by-play -play of what happened here. So starting with this lineup here, um, had a bit of a lineup change. So I'm opting with Sheru, then you have um, you have Liv at the back, and um, you have Sirslit in the front. Sirslit is actually very important because you need all of that DPS. I'm not sure which um, character you can substitute with Sirslit if you're not going to use any other DPS. She's actually very crucial. If you don't have her, I don't think you can clear um, tw uh, difficulty 24. This one is the same lineup. There will be a lineup change for wave 3, if I can recall. So, you have Liv again, you have Sirslit. Uh, live there is additional damage because you don't have any I, I can't reuse Rita and I can't use um, An assassin for this stage. So Off we go to three. This is where I Think it's going to be a little bit difficult. So I had a lineup change here um, Just gonna go through the whole video without pausing it. I'd like you guys to see the adjustments that I made um, okay, so before you 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 die with the stage, make sure that you 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 reset the stage so that you can still use the characters that you're using. Okay, so against no, um, the, the character change will be happening in four. Okay, in stage four. Um, I think I just swapped out uh, Liv for Nuno, if I can recall. But I, I actually tested Gildan here first before I could move on. So, made a couple of mistakes here. Uh, just want to clear out that this is not a perfect run. So, by the way, if you if you if you fail, if some of your characters are dead, uh, you can actually use other characters. You have a max of I think eight. So you do challenge the Ken. Then it will reset. Then you can change your lineup if you intend to use the same characters that you are actually. Especially for Sirslet, you need to keep her alive. So I actually went to Caesar at this point, but it didn't work. So if I can recall, after this fight, I actually I think have Sirslet die here. So after this, no, no, it's it's going to be it's going to be uh, what do you call this? All of them. So I had to reset this challenge again. Then my final lineup is going to be. I'm going back to Sheru actually. Then Nunu. In the back, you definitely need that healing at this point. So I'm still thinking here who I'm going to be replacing. Oh, I actually went with... I actually tried this lineup wherein I had Basil. So a lot of tries here, basically. So I'm just going to go through this. Even if I see the red arrows going down, I had to try everything that I could. So um, it's all about trial and error, guys. Whether you are going to succeed in the stage if you intend to use those similar or the same characters you just need to um what do you call this you just need to make sure that you challenge the stage again so that they won't permanently die okay so 
with this scenario, I am actually surviving here. But I'm not dealing as much damage as I need to. So as you can see, the HP of the enemy just goes back to 30 and it's going to be frustrating. So I'm going to be resetting this challenge again. So I'm actually going to be showing you all of the things, all of the adjustments that I made so that you could make your own adjustments as well. Okay, so this is, I think, the last one, if I can recall. The Wave 5, the dragon, is actually easier. So I was actually checking my lineup here. Going back to Sir Slit, putting her at the back so that she doesn't die as soon as, you know, possible. So I think this is the last one. So you have Liv there for additional damage and healing. So this is, I think, my final lineup that I decided on. Um, let's see if I can, you know, if this clears everything. So placement is also key because if you remember, Cersei was placed up in the front. I had her placed in the back to start, then move up front. So that is actually a key because, again, she won't be targeted as early if you put her in the front so all of this i played in auto guys this is not in manual um just wanna you know mention that this has all been auto so if uh, you plan to do all auto clears then definitely this is the path for you so okay Actually, this is my second clear already. I already cleared this before recording this video. But I failed to record the first one. So here I am. Okay, so off to the boss. So I'm using the same lineup as well for the boss. I, I didn't feel the need to change it. It was actually very stable to start with. So the boss is not that difficult. Wave 4 is really the big problem when you clear the stage. So just gonna clear this and we're done. We're down to 11.10. It's gonna be quick guys. We have five times five, four. So if you have any more questions, please do comment down in the comment section um, on how, you know, more tips for clearing the stage. I would really appreciate if you comment down below. And also put a like to this, to this video if you think that this helped you. So thank you very much for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.